Hey, 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 everybody. Today, I want to talk to you about focus. All the time I hear about, oh, I can't finish this thing, or I don't know what to work on first, or I've downloaded all these freebies, or I've been in business for six years and two years or however long it's been and I'm still not signing clients. And this all comes down to your focus. So stick around. You're listening to Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast. Welcome to Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast. And now your host, Melissa Jakubovic. All right. So I want to ask you just straight up, how is your focus? Think about the answer to that question and really think about it. Is it exactly where you want it to be? Are there moments where you can improve? Maybe you have 10 tabs open on your computer all the time. Maybe you're really focused on working on something and then you open up a YouTube video and then your focus is totally shot. So let me ask, how is your focus? Now, I know sometimes our to-do list get forever long. Mine sure does. I mean, I have so many things on my to-do list at any given time. And I have several different to-do lists. Some are for myself, for my business. Some are for myself personally with family things. Some are for my teammates. So lots of different to-do lists running. You can imagine how focused I truly need to then be. And as an online entrepreneur, it can be especially challenging sometimes to pull in your focus, let alone decide which of these things take priority. Because if you have a lot on your plate, you do have to pick and choose which ones you're going to tackle first. So I wanted to give you some tips on that. The first tip is to start with a brain dump. So sit for 10 minutes. You can set a timer, which is really helpful. Set a 10-minute timer and get a piece of paper and a pen, or if you're a faster typer, open up a Google Doc or something like that, and just write everything that comes to mind. Whatever you need to get done, every single thing you can think of, and just dump it down on that list. Now, the second thing is I want you to expand those bigger items into bite-sized pieces. So if you did type this up, you may want to print it out at this point because we're going to make it fun and we're going to get in step three, we're going to use some color. But, you know, you can also add color on the computer. But anyway, all right. So I want you to expand these items. So what I mean by that, for example, is I don't want you to just write laundry on your list if you have laundry to do. Instead, I want you to expand those into all the different steps. So you would write down, wash the laundry, dry the laundry, fold the laundry, hang up the laundry, and put the laundry away. So laundry is one huge task that turns into five bite-sized tasks. And this will help you divide the tasks up so that you can do parts of the main task when you find small pockets of time in your day. There's no rule that says that you must do all the steps of this item all at once. So for example, if you're doing laundry while you're working, you could wash the laundry and then go do your work. And then you know, oh, in 30 minutes, I need to move it to the dryer. And then you can say, you know, later this afternoon in between two meetings, I'm going to fold and hang. And then tonight when I'm done with work, I will put it away. The laundry still gets done, but now you've got bite-sized pieces that you can fit in into gaps in your calendar. Step three is to color code that list. I love this part. I like to use different colors. I have highlighters. My favorite are the Sharpie gel highlighters. You could use different sticky notes for this, different colored sticky notes. You could use different colored pens. Um, If you're doing this on the computer, you can just highlight the background of each item on the list and change the color there as well. This makes it fun. It makes it more creative. And what you're going to do is you're going to categorize what you have on that list by color. So for example, you could use the categories of business, kids, personal, and miscellaneous. Now, you get to pick these categories. You can even be more specific than that, but it's up to you. Number four is to prioritize. Now, within each category, you want to determine what is truly the most important thing to do. If you are obsessive like I am or you are perfectionist like I used to be slash still am, then you may want to rewrite your list here and put all of those colored categories together. If you printed this out on a sheet, you could even cut these up so each item on the list is its own little 
item task and then you can organize it on the floor into little piles. So we want all of your categories to be clumped together. Now you don't have to rewrite your list, that's fine, but it does look a lot better and it doesn't take that much time and it makes you feel good because it's fun to cross things off and it's just easy to see everything all in one place. Hey coaches and healers, it's time to feel supported in your business. Head on over to our free community to get access to my best resources for free. I'm talking marketing tips, business strategy, mindset, support, feedback, and so much more. Join now at spiritualwomenentrepreneurs.com. See you there. So within each category, I want you to determine what is the highest priority. So for business, it would be the money generating activities that actually move your business forward. Things that are gonna make you money right now, those are the things you're gonna start with. For kids, for example, it could be whatever is immediately going to provide you with a less stressful environment, like prepare dinner, because hungry kids are hangry kids. So if you know that preparing dinner is going to keep the family happy, which is going to create a less stressful environment, then that is a high priority. For personal, for example, you want to pick what will bring you the most joy, either directly, like getting a massage, or indirectly, like calling the doctor and booking that appointment that's been on your mind for several days so that you don't have to stress out about it anymore. The whole reason why we want to prioritize and pull our focus in is so that we have an easy way carefree way of flowing through life. So we are removing as much stress as possible. So what is the highest priority? Anything that removes the most amount of stress. And then the last step is number five, and that is where you schedule it out. Just like you would show up for an appointment with a friend or for a client, I want you to commit to showing up for yourself. So you put each task on the calendar where there is an opening and you just get it done. So it might seem crazy to you that you need to put laundry on your calendar, but honestly, in that example where we split it up into five different pieces, you could put on your calendar from this time to this time wash, from this time to this time dry, from this time to this time fold, from this time to this time hang, and from this time to this time put away, in between all of your work meetings. You could put make dinner for 30 minutes time slot on your calendar. And if you just show up for all those appointments and you follow your schedule, you will be completing things like a completion machine and you will not have stress in your life. I want you to try it out. I want you to let me know if this helps and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks for listening to the Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast at www.marketingtipswithmelissa.com. Oh, wait. Before you go, I've got a special invitation for you, so listen up. Join thousands of spiritual women, entrepreneurs, coaches, healers, and business owners in a cozy community to learn effective and aligned strategies to grow and scale your business through organic marketing and so much more. I'm inviting you to join my free community called the Spiritual Women Entrepreneurs to lift one another up in business, spirituality, finances, and emotional support. Visit spiritualwomenentrepreneurs.com. See you on the inside.